ladies and gentlemen, this is John Nesbitt bringing you the Hollywood premiere of Sonny Sweet in his latest picture, Good Wrinkles. Here he is now, and listen to those fans. There are many celebrities here, but tonight all eyes are on Sonny Sweet. Maybe I can break in here and get him to say a few words. How about it, see? Please, Sonny, sign mine first. Here's mine. Yes, I know what you would have said. Six or seven prunes a day are good for you in every way. And that's good advice. There he goes, a Hollywood star now. But let me tell you the story of how this local boy made good. Sonny comes from a famous French family in California. He was born on a balmy spring day. <laughs> and as any baby, at first he just lay there, drinking in the sunshine. As the months passed by, Sonny was nourished by Mother Nature with nutrient riches that poured down from the warm California sunshine and up from the rich soil in which the parent tree was rooted. By the time fall had come, Sonny was fully grown, ready to go into the world. Seek adventure in Hollywood. Well, Sonny was soon to find out that there was much new world of his. In the first place, he had never realized that all prunes are plums, but all plums are not prunes. For prunes, you see, are a special kind of plum that can be dried without fermenting. But Sonny qualifies, and his career as a movie star was well underway. He was soon to find out that there were many prunes from his family here at the studio, and that he would have the opportunity to work with some of them. Sonny's French prune family, sometimes called the Prune Dagen, is famous for its sweetness, flavor, and quality. Prunes of the French prune family run to the middle sizes. So when you see the words medium, large, or extra large on the package. Remember, these sizes refer to French prunes, which never grow so large as some other varieties, but which are never surpassed in sweetness and good eating quality. In his first picture, Sonny played the part of a French duke. In his regal costume, he fittingly represents true prune royalty for French prunes are the most popular of all prunes. Quiet! Action! There are larger prunes, to be sure. Here's Pearl, one of Sonny's best friends. She is an imperial prune, and her family, which thrives in very few areas, is not sufficiently numerous to be a major factor in the prune industry. My, but she is a shy one, and rightly so. Well, she comes from a prune family that is shy in many ways, <laughs> especially at fruit-bearing time. From Pearl, Sonny learned that there were various other varieties of prunes, but most of them are grown only in small quantities and are not important on a commercial scale. She told him that should he come upon any members of the prune family grown in the Pacific Northwest, he would find them noticeably tart this tartness being due to a larger acid content and a slightly smaller sugar content than the French prunes grown in California.
Sonny finished his role as the Duke, and the studio assigned him almost immediately to a film in which he portrayed a world's champion prize fighter. He played many important parts in the movies, just as prunes in real life play an important part in keeping us healthy. And now, with his great supply of prune energy, movie actor Sonny winds up for the knockout punch. Sonny knocks out fatigue, just as prune sugar energy overcomes fatigue in our bodies. The average sugar content of French prunes is 49 and a half percent, which comes from their long natural ripening in the sun. Prune sugar is in the form of readily digestible carbohydrates, chiefly invert sugar, which is readily absorbed into the blood to do the job of supplying quick energy, so needed when the going gets a bit rough and the tired body needs a pickup. Now let's see some of the requirements for that good to feel good feeling. If you don't mind, I'll be scientific for a few moments. There is carotene, for instance, which is changed by the body to vitamin A. Prunes are an excellent source of carotene and therefore of this valuable vitamin, of which the minimum requirement is 5,000 international units per day. This is the vitamin that does so much to protect precious eyesight and is important for proper growth too. Then there is riboflavin, one of the B-complex vitamins. Prunes have a higher riboflavin content than any other fruit. The average requirement of this vitamin is one and eight-tenths milligrams per day. It is needed for steady nerves, a clear skin, and good digestion, as well as for proper growth. Thiamin, also known as vitamin B1, contributes to healthy nerves, a good appetite, and proper growth. The daily requirement of thiamin is one and two-tenths milligrams. Also, there is the mineral iron, so necessary for its blood regenerating powers and an essential part of every living tissue in the body. Your daily requirement of iron is 12 milligrams. This is Sonny's way of showing just how much good six or seven prunes a day can do for you. They furnish a great percentage of these essential needs of man. Six or seven quality prunes are approximately 50 grams of edible fruit, which furnish 27% of the average daily minimum requirement of vitamin A, 38 and one half percent of the daily requirement of riboflavin or vitamin B2, 12.5% of the daily requirement of thiamine or vitamin B1, and 16 and 6 tenths percent of the average daily minimum requirement of iron to feel good. The story of Sonny's life as a movie star would never be complete without his most famous role as Dr. Sonny. It's a natural for him, for prunes can surely do much to keep us healthy and well. As every nurse and dietitian learns early in her training, prunes are highly effective as a gentle, natural aid to regularity. This is due partly to the abundance of soft fruit cellulose, food bulk in its natural and most valuable form, and partly to the presence of a specific laxative element, which has certain chemical and physiological properties similar to cathic and chlorogenic acids. Calling Dr. Sonny Sweet. Emergency, a uh, room 208. Hey, Doc, emergency, room 208. Say, ah. Uh...
Mmm. Coated tongue. Irregular, eh? But Dr. Sonny knows the answer. The patient will be well in no time. And now he says with the rest of us, it's good to feel good. Now let's turn from Sonny's Hollywood career and get a little better acquainted with his family background. We've found that prunes are unique in more than just their downright tastiness and food value. For example, there's the way prunes are harvested. In the springtime, they begin their gradual development and throughout the summer are richly nourished by Mother Nature. Finally, in August, they begin to ripen. However, the finest prunes are not picked like other fruit but are allowed to hang in the sunshine until they're so plump and heavy with juicy goodness they drop from the trees of their own weight. When nature says, you're ready, down they go. The soil has been previously turned and worked to a cushiony mattress to catch the falling fruit. And there they lie, purple and plump, all ready to be carefully gathered by hand. Now here we are at the plant. Let's see how plums become prunes by what is known as the dehydrating process. They are first put through a hot 15 second alkaline bath to slightly crack the skins and allow for more rapid evaporation of the moisture in the fruit. Next, they are thoroughly rinsed. Then they are spread in single layers on large trays to be dried. While open field drying was the only method employed for many years, this method has now been largely replaced by modern mechanical dehydrators. And it is in these dehydrators that the prune, as we know it best, actually comes to be. are truly good wrinkles. The one place where wrinkles are looked upon as a sign of distinction. The next step is to sort the prunes according to size. As they pass over a series of graduated holes in the sorting conveyor, they drop through the holes they fit and are thus automatically graded. Prune sizes are designated by the number of prunes it takes to make a pound. Naturally, the fewer the prunes to the pound, the larger the individual prunes. The medium size is graded 67 or less prunes to the pound. The large size runs 53 prunes or less to the pound. Then comes the extra large size, which averages 43 prunes or less to the pound. Thus, you are reminded again, the fewer the prunes per pound, the larger the fruit. The final step before packaging is the special sun-sweet tenderized process. Using only heat and moisture, this process leaves the prunes plump and tender, which permits very rapid cooking, thus eliminating the vitamin loss, which sometimes results from longer preparation. From the tenderized process, the prunes are immediately packed steaming hot into parchment paper bags, which are enclosed in protective cartons. Also, as an added protection against air, dust, light, and heat, the cartons are in turn enclosed and sealed in a lustrous gold or silver foil wrapper. This hot packing and foil sealing ensures uniform moisture, tenderness, and fine eating quality throughout the contents of the package. In addition to protecting the full rich goodness of the fruit, the foil wrapper is an easy way to always identify your favorite brand.
fresh from the carton, the prunes are ready to be served in an infinite variety of ways. Raw, for example, the special tenderized process makes prunes so tender and good you can eat them just like candy right out of the box. In raw, they provide all the qualities of the natural fruit. Or prepare them in this simple way. Just fill a jar with prunes, add boiling water to cover, screw on the lid, let cool, then place in your refrigerator for several days. The longer they stand, the thicker the juice. This American breakfast tradition is delicious when served with a little cream, or with a dash of lemon, or just sitting pretty in their own juice. For serving with meat, spiced and pickled prunes. Mmm, mmm. Or prune pie, a tempting luscious dessert with a billowy meringue that can be put together in a twinkling. Prune whip is another famous American dish, the perfect dessert for a perfect meal. Here's another wonderful treat, prune birthday cake. A tender, moist, fruity cake, just right for every day of the year and for special occasions too, such as Junior's birthday party. Our country, however, isn't the only one that knows all about the delect uses of prunes. They are a favorite fruit in many countries. Let's see what the people of Scandinavia know about prunes. If you should find expected guests are on the way, and a quick sweetbread is what you'll need, just try prune biscuit roll. Prepare about two cups of your favorite biscuit mix by merely adding milk. Then roll the dough to a quarter inch thickness and spread evenly with one and a half cups of chopped and pitted cooked prunes. You then top the prunes with a quarter cup of melted butter one half cup of sugar spiced with cinnamon or nutmeg and carefully roll like a jelly roll. Then place the roll in a buttered baking dish and bake in a moderate oven 45 minutes to an hour. When cool, the roll is cut into slices and there you are. As easy as that, coffee time's complete with dainty prune biscuit rolls. Here's the desserts. The vanilla cream portion in this bowl is a blend of eggs, corn, cold. Delicious. Another delightful dessert of theirs, which can be served cold, is prunes with meringue. The meringue is spread over the prunes, and the dessert is eaten until the top is golden brown. If you have a sweet tooth, serve it with cream or vanilla sauce, and it's a mouth-watering treat. Another favorite of theirs, prune souffle, as light and fluffy as a dream. And believe it or not, the Scandinavians even make a soup of prunes, which they serve cold. A Swedish specialty, no doubt, but try it sometime. You might like it. Scandinavian cooks use prunes a great deal with meat, especially with fatty meats like pork. One method is to stuff spare ribs with pitted prunes before baking. This adds a delicate, succulent flavor to the ribs. Another popular method of theirs is to serve boiled prunes right along with fried or baked pork chops. Yet another delicious way they combine meat with prunes is to place the prunes on slices of pork, rolling them till crisp and brown. And here is an idea of theirs that works wonders with fowl. Stuff chicken, turkey, or duck with prunes. The sweetness and richness of the prunes really enhances the flavor of the fowl. Yes, there are hundreds of ways to serve prunes. And to help in preparing these you have seen, plus countless other prune delicacies, SunSweet has gathered together a wonderful collection of prune recipes which have been put into a handy book. Merely mail your request to SunSweet, Box 670, San Jose, California, for a free cup. However you serve these prunes, you can be sure they are a delicious, full-flavored, perfect-eating fruit. Just as important, they are rich in nature's own vitamins and valuable food minerals. A quick energy food that gives children and adults alike that good-to-feel-good feeling. Serve prunes often. They are good any way, any time. So there, in all his regal splendor, sits Sonny. 
proud of his royal heritage, proud too of the golden carton which he sponsors, and which is your guarantee of extra tenderness and extra goodness in the prunes you buy. Your sure guide to good wrinkles when you go shopping for prunes. For seven prunes a day are good for you in every way. Buy some sweet prunes and you'll agree, cooked or all their heavenly. Thank you.